In May, Borussia Mönchengladbach secured third spot in the Bundesliga and a place in this season's UEFA Champions League. It's just unbelievable. It's been a very long time since Borussia Mönchengladbach have played in the Champions League. And you can feel that in the whole city, the club and the fans. We are delighted with what we have achieved this year. You can see what's going on here. There are amazing things happening in this club and everyone deserves credit for it. Munch and Gladbach's return to Europe's premier competition will rekindle memories of a golden era for the club before harder times set in. We were promoted in 1965 and were successful in the 70s. We were German champions five times, we won the UEFA Cup twice and the German Cup. So that was an incredibly successful period that we still remember and respect today. The club had a glorious past, but things went downhill. I came here just after we were promoted, and now we're going really well again. After relegations in 1999 and 2007, the club was on the verge of a third spell in Germany's second tier in February 2011, when they appointed a new manager, Lucien Favre. When a club has to let a manager go, then they have to find a suitable replacement, someone who can lead the club to success. In our case, that meant avoiding relegation in 2011. Our club's philosophy is to work with young players, so we needed a manager who was willing to work with these young players. That's why Lucien Favre was the best manager for us at the time. Despite conceding after just 80 seconds in Lucien Favre's first game, Mönchengladbach went on to avoid relegation thanks to a playoff win against Bochum. It's just unbelievable. Four years ago, we were almost in the second division. After the first half of the season, we were practically relegated. We'd only got about nine points. I don't think anyone thought we would make it. But in the second half of the season, we really worked hard. We really stepped it up, and that's how we managed to stay in the first division. First of all, it's a nice reminder that anything can happen in sport. You can't give up. As a club, you have to continue working in the direction that will lead you to success. But you also need to find the right pieces of the puzzle. So, yes, it is a fairy tale when you look at how incredibly well the club has done over the past few years. But in the end, everyone agreed it was worth waiting for, because the club had so much power, so many ideas, that it was fair to say that with the right people it could work, that it would what works so well is something you cannot plan for. Mönchengladbach's campaign was highlighted by one standout result. The second half of the season was incredible. You win 2-0 in Munich, and that's when you start thinking, this year we can achieve even more, because Bayern was still going strong at the time and hadn't won the championship yet. When you win in Munich, you automatically belong to the top tier in the Bundesliga. And now for the next step, the Champions League, starting with Sevilla. We need to get used to the Champions League. This is a whole new challenge for us. We've never played here before. It's a big challenge. So if we master it, then I think we'll be able to play at a European level again. That has to be our goal for the new season. Recently, we've had wins against some great teams such as Wolfsburg, Bayern and Schalke. These are all clubs that play in the Champions League and this just shows that we are ready to play at this level too.